Hi, my name is Diane, and you're currently watching the Just Kidding Around show. Thank you so much for joining us. This week, we are welcoming Lynn Ruth. Hello, Lynn. Hello. And Lynn is the founder, the creator of Treehouse Arts. Is that right? That's correct. Okay, and she also produced that gorgeous picture that the credits were shown on. And uh, so we'll be talking more about that later. I want to start by looking into the camera and saying hello to some of our faithful viewers. And one is Mr. Feeney. Hi, Mr. Feeney. And I also want to say hello to the students at South Bay. And hello to Peggy Broadlin, who is South Bay's art teacher. Should I say hello to somebody? Sure, I'll say hello to my mom and Joni. Hi, mom and Joni. Okay, and we have a Joni in our family too, so hi to our Joni. And um, so the name of this program is True Colors. What what do you mean by that? Well, um, I have a technique that makes helps students actually uh, create paintings in one or two lessons, and. Uh, what it is is a way of presenting it on the, on the paper. We're going to do it on the board tonight. But uh, you don't mix it. You don't try to mix it. You actually oh, put three or four different colors on a brush, and you just slap it on. And you're slapping it on like this. And uh, we'll do it tonight, and then we'll actually try and see how far we get on this painting that I did um, oh, just so, the other day. So you created this painting? Yes. Th yes. OK. Um, we're surrounded by paintings, by the way, and they're all done by um, your students. Is that right? There's that one is my own, and then uh, that's the one we'll work on tonight. Beautiful. Uh, over here is one I did. Uh, okay. That is a, a woman, a girl, and her little sister running oh, through a field. Beautiful. Is that the technique we're going to be using? That too? is the technique. There, okay. in fact, almost all of them use that technique. All right. So throughout the evening, you'll be seeing various paintings yes. that were done by your students. Yes. So I'm going to okay. go ahead and start us on here. It'll take us a while, but it'll be fun. I already put the black down. So we have a, a piece of paper like this. So if you're going to follow along at home, you want to make a little uh, space up here in the corner. This is this I call the window. All right. It's a window, and this will be where the water, uh, we're going to put the water in. Okay. And I already put the black on, and what we want to avoid is making things look muddy. So it's important that sometimes you wait a little bit, let things dry before uh -huh. you put the next colors on. But I'll and now I have to ask you, what kind of paint is this black? Is that acrylic? All of this, all of my paints are professional grade uh, tempera paints. Oh, tempera. If, if I okay. want to make them look like oil paintings, mm -hmm. I'll add gel. Oh, so it's tempera. And then what weight is this paper? Uh, that's, uh, what is that, 210? What so is it? 210 paper. I think that's cardstock. Okay. And if you don't have these supplies at home, feel free to just tape the program and enjoy it first time through, and then you can get supplies before you rewatch the program. Well, we already have black, but even though we already have black, um, you still need to incorporate black into it, but black is a very powerful uh, color. You don't really need a lot of it. You just need some of it. And one of my favorite, favorite colors are these three, these three colors, blue, okay. black, and green. They're vibrant. So what I want you to do, I, ha I actually made myself a brush because all of my round brushes, the kids have worn them out. They're just worn out. This is your round brush. Round you brush. go like this and this and a little bit of black. And what you do, mm -hmm. Diane, is you just fill in this space right here. This is going to be uh, the foliage where the waterfall will be. Okay. You could also um, draw where the waterfall is so you don't get confused. I, I would put the waterfall around, about right here. Okay, waterfall about here. And I want to ask you about your palette. Is there some special reason you're using this? I have a bunch of kids in contest right now, and they were. I just had this spare, and it's not going <laughs> to bend up or anything. It'll be good. So, does it matter what a person uses for a palette? No, doesn't, particularly, doesn't they could matter, use a pipe plate matter or at something. All. So we're okay. just going to fill it in. I, bet, and I thought you said we don't mix them. We do it on the paper. We do it tapping wise. We don't stir them. Can I just do green first and tap it? No, I would and then black even, and then I blue. Do, the, what I do, what I normally do is I go with uh, a dark color like this, and then I uh, go lighter as we come up from it. Uh, the next layer will be lighter. This is kind of the dark layer. This layer will provide the shadows. Okay. And we're not going over that little white spot in the corner, right? And we're not going to go on the water there. 
And not on the water not and on not the on the white. And you just fill it in. I don't know if the... Now, didn't you want to say something about Monet and, and his technique? This is his technique. He, he, uh, he did not mix. The, re the way he was able to achieve impressionism uh -huh. was to, to take and squeeze the paint onto the paper. That's how impressionism that's was how done, he, really? Because it looks like little tiny. Sometimes it's little tiny dots. But yeah, but that's, it's that's really what, not. It's just what we're doing point, now is impression. This oh. is a this is a way. I had a student that did this technique, and and she was so fabulous at it. And and, and can you can I borrow the blue, please? Oh yeah, I'm so um, sorry. And yeah. uh, you, her eye, you wouldn't, you're not even able to hold your eyes still. You know, you straight, when you look at a, one of those t-shirts that can you read this and it's yeah. all blurry. Yeah. That's what she was able to do. Her painting, is, her that, painting, is that what we want our paintings to do? That's what you want. Okay. Be uh, because you add detail on top of it to, tone, to quiet it down so that your uh, eye will settle in and focus on, on the main, the okay. main theme. Now, who actually invented um, Impressionism? Who was the first Impressionist? Huh. I have no, I don't know. No idea. I know Renoir did that, Monet did it, okay. Manet did it. I don't, I don't know. But you invented this technique. Well, this is what I have found to work the best. Now, see, I'm already covered, I've already covered a big, a big area on my painting. Kind of shiny. Oh. And, and okay, is, how does mine look? Is mine too black? Getting, oh, it's beautiful. It's got it wonderful, is. wonderful color. We're going to add yellow to that, and and it will work just fine. But so these are like the plants and the rocks. And this is going to be like the plants and the rocks. And I was looking for the green. Okay. You want to pull? Oh, I got the green. <laughs> I've been hoarding all the paint over here. I was going to use this tray. I was going to recommend people use this tray <laughs> if they're going to do a painting at home. This is such a neat thing. This it, is so clever. It's, it's an ice cube it's tray. It's an ice cube tray. Uh -huh. and, and when it dries, when the paint dries, all you have to do is, oh. is pat on it and it all falls in the garbage and you don't have a mess. Oh, how clever and, is and, that? And you just have this wonderful little So instead thing. of a palette, yes, there's an and, ice cube tray. Because look at how much paint we waste when we use a palette. That is true, but then how could I get several colors on one brush with that? Well, you can. I can? You can. Okay. Uh, we're going to come back and do the and do the sky, but I'm going to go down. Go ahead and go down in here, and we'll put we'll put the grasses in here. And this this is actually the bottom. If you look up here, you can see it's the bottom just below the water. And you tap it like this. You do want to avoid too much. What'd black. you say? I wasn't listening very well. You said I do the water down there. This, this I'm is doing water. just below the water. This is just below the water. Then okay. we're going to put flowers in here. And, uh, and, and uh, there's a reason for the black underneath here. And the reason is this waterfall has to come from some place. And so what we actually do is, is take a brush or, a, or, or some scraping tool and pull back to the black that's underneath and you can actually create the, the bricks underneath where the, where the waterfall comes from. Isn't that uh -huh. just, just cool? Am, am I supposed to be doing that right now? Nope. You're good. You're good to go. Okay. okay. Now this. Remember, this is all dark, and this is this is your shadows. This is just your shadows. I'm going to get another brush. I do have a problem with my technique in that uh, we use a lot of brushes. <laughs> we use is a, it difficult we to use find a these? A lot Where would of you brushes. go to buy these brushes? I think I'd probably get that at Michaels or, oh. or Opa's. You mean any craft store? Yeah, any, craft, any craft store. Almost any craft store. You know, I don't, craft I store or art seen, supply store. Like I said, I'm out and I don't really know where to get them right this minute because I haven't seen them very often. So. Okay. But I have a wonderful friend named Carrie that brings me brushes. Almost every time she comes, she'll bring me brushes. Okay. And that's a really wonderful so, thing. Yeah, we're not allowed to advertise, so any any craft store, yeah, though. Oh, I see what you mean. Or even oh, dollar stores oh, or oh, any uh, kind of store. Oh, we can't okay. favor Excuse one store me. over there. <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> now, there's my um, my sky. Would you like to switch? So, yeah, yeah. There you so go. So that's my sky, so yeah. I'm going to use this... Um, 
You're going to go ahead and put it in the corner. While she works on that, I'd like to share some of this. Um, I have some fantastic students. This is Sarah, and she did uh, this uh, drawing of an Afghan Afghanistan refugee. It was in the National oh, Geographic. Wow. Remember that? Oh, yes, I remember And she's that. 12 years old. That was her first time ever drawing face. A 12-year-old? I mean, a 12-year-old. Isn't that just beautiful? Wow. I just love it. The one above it is done by my feature artist. She's 10. Mm -hmm. She did, Look at that little... Um, a 10-year-old did Isn't that? that just cute? Do you see the Monet style? Yes, Do you see I how see it kind that. of blurs? So she used the same technique to do that? Yep, same technique. Did she sketch out the animal first? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You did good. Is okay, that good, Scott? We're going to let it dry. I think what we could do is like this. We can pull the waterfall down like this. And the waterfall comes at a, on a curve like that. Like that. Okay. Can I put a little more white in it? Sure. Well, we're going to put white on top. That's oh, the layer. Okay. That's the layer technique. You put the blue down, then you put the white on top. And I'll show you how we lay the, lay the white. Another one right here is on the table, uh, uh, a painting by Robert Harkness. And uh, he start. this was a, quite a challenge. Um, right here on the table. Mm -hmm. Um, one that, right one is, that one is um, uh, such a sophisticated piece, and that was done by a 13-year-old boy. Here, let and me move that for the camera. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I think somebody's trying to get that. There it is, by a 13-year-old boy. By a 13-year-old boy. And once he completed that, he had so much confidence, he's gone on. He's, oh, really? He sells his pieces. He's got a college fund now. <gasps> he's gone to Europe and made money. But he oh, wow. really threw. He really, really was upset about that doing that that uh, painting because that right. was a, such a difficult painting, and, I, and just uh, the confidence that you can give kids, so they believe in themselves. It's just amazing. Isn't that wonderful? Wow. And this so is now beautiful. he's traveled all around with his art. He is all over and just doing great. And he brought a wow. friend down below. If you folks can look down. What is his name? Are we allowed to say his name? I don't know. He might not want to say his name. Robert Harkness. Let's just is say. he the one that sells cards? He sells everything. I've purchased his cards before, I think. He's about a junior in high school. Uh, yeah, junior, he is, senior. He is, he is, yes, he is. I and have he, seen him at the Art Walk. And he is wonderful. And he's very got, talented. You know, wonderful person. Just a great human being. Now, who did? Is that Marley? Now that's Bob Marley. That but is Robert, Bob Marley. Bob, 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 let's see. Robert brought a friend in. His friend's name was Blake, and Blake uh -huh. came to me and said, "I'm not doing well in art. In fact, I'm failing. Can you help me?" Oh and I helped God. him with a, just a really brief lesson. The kid walked away, came back two and a half weeks later with four pieces like <gasps> that. Oh my God! That, and he let you keep it? Oh no! Mm -hmm. I'm showing them for him. Can I? Oh. Can I? Uh, can I get the blue, please? Yeah. <laughs> So, so you've borrowed all these pieces from I people. I had them at the Superior Court, and, ah. and we showed them recently. And now we're going to try and get on a circuit. This kid, I got him in the newspaper because, you know, he, people with that kind of talent need recognition. Mm -hmm. This is what you do. This is so much fun. These are uh, uh, oil pastels. Mm -hmm. I can't say the name, right? No. Okay. You can't. They are uh, not only are they watercolor; they're also oil. Hmm. And so I put them down like hmm. this. And I'm going to put them in my water one at a time. And I'll let you, this is my favorite. I'm almost out. There you go. Okay. Actually, I've got another one right here. This is called Cerulean Blue. It doesn't matter your order, how you put them in. Does it matter how dark? Oh, you want them dark because you have to have shadows before you can have light. Huh. You're, it's a lot darker on your um, I know. That's background. Okay. Yours because you have paper. So I'm going to go like this, and then I can lighten it up with a yellow one, or I like this green one right here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is lovely. Uh, would you like to try that one? I don't want to. You try that one. So anyway, Robert has gone ahead, and he, he's, uh, he's still selling, and he's still... He's been to Europe and he's gone on, and, he, and but his friend didn't have a clue that he had this talent, and he really doesn't. Um, it's amazing. He's not sure exactly where all this came from. Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> not his parents. Or, do you think a lot of people have hidden artistic talent? I think that yes, I do. I think we all do. I think that we all have some kind of. And it, you know, art doesn't just necessarily mean painting and drawing. It's mm -hmm. singing and dancing and. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like today, we did flower arranging. Those kind of things are all evidence of something inside of you that wants to express itself. And if mm -hmm. you want to, if you want to uh, 
really know who you are, you need to look at what is it that you can create that's beautiful because we have to have evidence that, that we have beauty inside of ourselves. We have so much evidence that there's not any beauty. Mm. We need to have, and the kids, you work with kids, mm -hmm. they need to have evidence that they, that have, they have beauty, beauty inside, inside of themselves. So and yet the world so many times shows us like the news is negative, negative. and we see what kids are doing bad. And, and they play their video games. They're, they're negative, most of them. You need to rub that. It's really cool. Okay. It, it, just, and I'm you rubbing take, it. You take your finger and I, you just I just rub it. I didn't like, want to get my finger dirty. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to all over and the whole thing, fill in no, the whole thing. Just the white. Just the white area. If you can put more on there quicker, then you won't have But you know, that. my paint's still wet. I know. Isn't it fun? Yes. <laughs> it's fun. Here, look. If you put it in like this. What? So I need to look for the beauty inside me. Inside of everyone. Inside of everyone. Like, Just look at Blake. Sack. Look oh. at that fantastic peak. Look at Robert at 13. That's amazing. There's a little one. There's one down there of a little girl. And she, it's a lighthouse scene. It's quite large. Uh -huh. And um, that little girl is eight years old. An eight-year-old did the lighthouse? An eight-year-old did the lighthouse. I think some people are really good at drawing talent out of people. Well, look at that. Look at that. That's by an eight-year-old. An eight-year-old. That's Isn't unbelievable. That something? And that little girl is so talented. She did this very lesson the other day with me, and I just fell off my chair. It was so beautiful. I just wow. couldn't, I couldn't believe it. So we have those. Oh, Wow. And isn't this fun? Now, we only have 10 minutes left. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. So I need to get, what about this black that's still wet? No, that's okay. Don't worry. Can I blend that in? Huh? No, no. I no. We'll, we'll put something I on top of it. Now, okay. the, another technique is, is this, this type of technique is, okay, you've got all of this here, and you've just kind of laid it there with a brush. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, or, or you want to adjust it, you take a dry brush oh. and, you, and you push it into, sh into the shape that you want. I can't see because of the lights. I can't really see So it. to do this, yeah, I was noticing that. It's, it's so, pretty bright in here. So I can move So it. you need a good supply of brushes before you, need you start really, this. You, but these are all inexpensive and, and a real fun. So, I mean, if you really want to paint, just, just try it. It's quite a, it's really a wonderful technique. And look at how quickly it develops into a painting. Mm -hmm. Now, we have flowers now, and I, 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 I'm not going to worry. I'm going to put white. I put two colors on, and I put red. That's pink, right? Mm -hmm. And I can come up in here, and I can make flowers. I like little wild flowers Good. And and I, and I can go blue and red, and I make purple, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when I was in Hawaii, there was a lot of ginger. Ginger, you know, kind of. What goes. does ginger look like? It, it's like this. It's a it's a leafy thing, and oh. it sticks up. It sticks up into the water. This wild ginger it grows near water. It, you're, it's really pretty. I love your waterfall. That's oh, very pretty. Oh, thank you. Pretty. You don't want this white right here. So well, that's what I was saying before. Take a brush. If I get too take close, a brush. okay. How about this brush? Take this brush and actually just push it up. Ah, how smart is that? I can. I use these brushes. I've already gotten dirty. Sure, you can use any, any that you want. Uh, uh, if you don't have water on the table, which we don't, you can't clean your brush. It's starting to get a little muddy, though. I don't want it muddy, but I love the color. Isn't don't that pretty? Look at that. It's just beautiful. Uh, I love the color. You're sweet. So we got white right here. I like I'm a big pink person. Mm -hmm. Do you see how gorgeous this is? Now we're not going to be able to do the fine tuning on it. I'm going to quickly show you how to do the waterfall. Do you have so another small brush over there? Oh yeah. We have five more minutes. How about that one? Okay. Um, I wanted to show you how to do the waterfall so that people at home can at least figure out how to go about it. What you do is you, you go at the top of the painting like this and you, you put a cap on the top. All right. And then you pretend that you're a drop of water and you're falling down. Hmm. And you're falling down. And you're going to fall down. You fall all the way down into the water. And when you hit the water, you bubble. You just go ba 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 And then you trail off to the right and trail off to the left. And that's how you'll develop your waterfall. 
So I just got rows of these Here, little you can droplets. Use this. You can use this one. Use a fan brush. Boy, you got some beautiful, that's really gorgeous too. Keep going. <laughs> I can tell you've been taking some art lessons. Yeah. So, so now, I didn't, I didn't get what to do down here. Um, down in the down mm -hmm. down at the bottom. Should I've done you have, that. You have quite a bit of paint right now, so what I think you can do is pick some of it up with this. Okay. Like this. See? Isn't that cool? Just pick it and up. On, and on. We're gonna pull it up like ferns into the water, like that. You can uh, try that, and then we'll put then we'll put some flowers in there. That's okay. Gorgeous. Do I need to have some white on my water that I, like you? Yeah, did? you can do that too. Okay. Let's let you have. let you use a little bit of this? Maybe you can use this one. Okay. Do you like that? Well, that's pretty too. Diane? Yes. Pardon? Okay. Um, so I didn't think we'd be able to like define it or anything, but we certainly can see how beautiful it can be just by daubing on it. Was, do you have a favorite impressionist? It is definitely Monet. Was it really? Yeah. He had a real attitude problem, but boy, was he a fantastic <laughs> artist. Hmm. Was that your favorite period? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, I hope that you had fun doing this. Isn't that just gorgeous? We did. We only now have that three is, minutes left. That is a really... Can you believe that? That is a really beautiful painting for just, what did we work on it, 15 minutes? Amazing. You are an awesome teacher. Thank you. Awesome. So if people have more questions, at the end of this show, we actually have, um, don't we have your phone number? Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have your phone number. So if you have questions or want to talk to Lynn about um, this project or Treehouse Arts, the, um, the phone number and your email, I believe, are on the ending credits. So we're getting ready to wrap up. I hope the camera people can get some pictures of some of these beautiful creations that were made by students at Treehouse Art. Yeah, thank you. And we want to thank all the people that worked so hard to make this program. Thank you to Pat Jeffries. We have him working sound. Tom Dubuque is in there directing. Thank you to Bob Giles, Bruce Tanney, and Jerry Julian. And thanks to our home audience. Please tune in again sometime. Thank you. Bye. And thank you, Lynn. Oh, thank you so much. That's gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs>